Oh my God, oh my God. I just found a new MX hack. Here we go. Boom. What's up guys, it's Jay and welcome to Flashpoint where we're all about credit, credit cards, and other finance tips. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Also, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, it really does help me out. And comment down below if you knew about this hack. I just found out about it and I think it's pretty cool, especially if you're having trouble trying to figure out what you're gonna do with your airline hack. So, you know, also guys, do not forget about my $100 American Airlines gift card giveaway for once I hit 1,000 subscribers. So if you are new to the channel, just all you have to do is be subscribed, comment, and like the videos. I really appreciate it. Let's go ahead and get into it. So this, I have to give credit to one of my new subscribers, Mystic Eric, okay? So in one of my recent live streams, we were talking about the uh, American Express signup bonuses, you know, with the Marriott Bonvoy uh, 100,000 signup offer right now, and the uh, American Express Platinum business card sign up bonus. And, um, you know, I was addressing how, you know, some of the airline hacks, like before we used to be able to get gift cards, and now that's been completely destroyed by American Express. They have uh, basically cracked down on that, as most of you know. But, you know, fortunately enough, I was able to uh, get this little tidbit of information from one of my subscribers. So, Eric, I really appreciate you, man, for that. Now, uh, what is the hack? So obviously you cannot buy gift cards anymore because they now code as gift cards. So this is coming straight from Eric. So what he did was he went to a JetBlue kiosk inside his airport and he purchased $100 worth of points or miles, you know. Uh, and I thought that was interesting. He was a bit weary about uh, everything as he was explaining uh, his whole scenario. And what happened was uh, a couple days later he checked and sure enough he was given the airline fee credit. Now if you have a platinum card or if you have a gold card or if you have a business platinum or business gold, I believe it's on the business gold, I don't know uh, for sure, but I know it's on the business platinum, is you get an airline fee credit. So basically this is for miscellaneous airline charges, so like taxes, uh, seat upgrades, check bags, anything like that, anything that you buy on the flight like food or beverage, anything like that, okay? Now most people don't fly as often as others and so it could be potentially tough to get that um, airline fee credit. So he did mention that the number of points he was able to purchase with $100 was 3,600 points. Now, he evaluated that to about $61. Now, I know what you're saying, like, hey, I'm getting only $61 worth of value, but at the same time, would you rather get $61 worth of value or have to pay an annual fee and not be able to redeem that $100 credit. Now, I think if you're someone who is having trouble uh, getting that airline fee credit for your gold card or for your platinum card, I think this is a nice second option to have um, just because, you know, you might be coming up to the end of the year, you're not able to get that $200 credit or you're not able to get that $100 credit. And, you know, that can actually make the difference in whether or not you're gonna keep your card or not. I know for me, that's gonna be my deal breaker. If I'm not able to redeem that $100 airline fee credit, then that's going to be kind of a deal breaker for me, whether or not I'm gonna downgrade to a green card. Hopefully the green card gets refreshed. That would be nice. But yeah, so uh, yeah guys, so uh, you know, if you knew about this hack, let me know. I mean, cause shit, I just found out and I think that's pretty awesome. That's a that's a pretty cool second option. Um, now, I'm not sure if it works online. I know that it did work in the kiosk because you know I was able to get those data points from Eric himself you know, through the chats and he also stated that he had a friend who did the exact same thing. So that's two data points I know in the grand scheme of things, but you know, I would, uh, I think it's worth a shot. So, so guys, let me know what you think about this. Uh, you know, about this possibility to get, you know, that airline fee credit 
uh, and do you think it's a it's a good option? Uh, would you do it? I mean, you know, let me know down in the comments below. And that'll conclude today's video, guys. For more video updates, hit that subscribe button. If you found this information to be helpful, give the video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Share it with your friends. Drop a comment down below to let me know what you guys think about the hack. You know, just said it. So yeah. Don't forget to hit the bell notifications down in the bottom left corner so that way you guys can stay up to date for whenever I drop my next video. Be a good person, be safe, be smart, and remember, credit. Ah, ah. That was the wrong combination. Let's try that again. And remember, credit. Wrong one again. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. One, two, three, left hook. Is your life. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.